So as of 2017, we are closing in to the Wano arc in One Piece. So recently, people have been speculating that who is gonna beat Kaido? Because Kaido is so strong, we don't even know how strong he is. I mean, he has the title for the world's strongest creature, so I guess he is strong. But honestly, Kaido... I think he's too overrated but if he is strong I don't think because when law someone mentioned I think it was King of Lightning and I don't remember this but King mentioned law actually said that if we hit all three supernovas which means Zoro law and Luffy teamed up together against Kaido there would be a 30% chance to beat him which is still fucking low guys so I have a few theories a few dudes who I think is actually gonna take down Kaido who's gonna assist them in some sort of way but not all of them are good which is the interesting part we are transitioning, uh, transi transitioning to the first person which is Mihawk now if you guys watched my last theory video on how Mihawk, how strong he is, then you should probably go. If you if you didn't watch it, then you should probably go watch it. But if you did, then good for you. You should probably understand how strong he is. So the reason why I think Mihawk is gonna be in Wano specifically is just because he's a swordsman. Who, who knows? He could have. He could have wanted a new sword, he could have visited for something that we don't know, but I positively think that Mihawk's gonna be be there somehow, some way. If not if not him being there as well, but I mean he's probably gonna because Mihawk as a swordsman he must have been been to Wano and I think I personally think he like visits there frequently. I don't know why, but it's just because of the land of samurai and land of swords. But if that that actually happened, then you, you know what? He's probably gonna get a hell of a lot of training because everyone's everyone wants his sword. Everyone to wanna fight him. But regardless, we are going to go into the second person, who's I think who is gonna be at one of defeating Kaido. Now this dude is a massive massive transition from me power levels in my opinion. So what I think that is gonna help well he's bad but he's gonna help defeating Kaido or he's gonna be a scumbag which he did became in Marine Ford. I'm talking about the dude the fat dude, the black beard dude, okay. This dude, I story wise, I think he's gonna have stronger zone because Kaido, as we all know, he probably have has a zone and black beard, he's searching for devil fruits. So I think that he ha he's gonna have the perim strongest permissia, the strongest low gear, and the strongest zone. So if you guys asking how the fuck is Luffy gonna feed him? Then, even I don't know because, as we all know, o Oda even stated himself that he doesn't know how to defeat Kaido just yet. I don't know. It was last year, last year. I think it was two years ago. He stated that, but as of right now, he probably knows. Like, I mean, Kaido must have some sort of weakness, just like Crocodile had, which was water. But yeah. Now about Blackbeard, I personally think that this is just story wise, it's not even confirmed yet but I think he's searching for their first so he's definitely gonna go to one of his hair. He already has Promethean and Logia. The thing that makes me question Blackbeard is, is he searching for their first for himself, for himself or for his crew? And yo, if Blackbeard actually gets Kaido's food. It's gonna be one hell of a hell of a dude to fight. I think Big Mom's gonna be the ally when fighting Blackbeard with Luffy because 
even though Vietnam hasn't didn't have the strongest Promethea, I'm sure that he's gonna fight Blackbeard at some point for some reason. So that's that. And we transition to the motherfucker who's the most badass dude in town. So I personally think that this dude has the highest probab probability to show up in Wano. As for specific reason, because I can imagine this dude at a certain situation. So imagine a situation where Kaido's so fucking strong, he's so fucking strong, he defeated all the supernovas. I mean the shogun okay, the shogun has been killed or defeated, but the whole crew has been defeated, but Kaido, Kaido is unstoppable. Everyone's like tired, you can't beat him if he's if he's almost dying. Law's probably helping Luffy or trying to revive him at some point. And I can definitely see this dude comes in and fucks up Kaido. Now, this dude I'm talking is Shanks. Motherfucking Shanks, dude. This dude is gonna show up in Wano and probably hockey up and is gonna beat Kaido's ass. I'm, I'm calling it right now, boys. If, I mean, I know it's a little bit early to be calling it some shit, but if you guys actually see Shanks getting fucked up by Kaido, go to this video and comment in he called it he fucking called it but yeah uh, I definitely imagine I can definitely imagine that Shanks probably gonna be there in one of the Kaido because I don't think anyone other than Shanks can defeat him at this point in time personally because Blackbeard is too fucking He's he's new, okay, so I'll give him shit for that. And Big Mom, uh, she probably have Vin Smoke to deal with. Uh, I mean, even though I think that the Vin Smoke thing ended by the time they go to Wano, but no. And the other reason why I think Shanks is gonna be, as well as Blackbeard, is gonna be on Wano, is because I think Wano is the last arc of the Yonko saga. If it is. Then where the hell is Shanks up? So if Shanks is not gonna appear, uh, is not gonna have arc on his own, just like Kaido and Big Mom, as well as Blackbeard. Then he's probably gonna be appear. He's probably gonna appear on one or just like he's gonna appear on Marine Fort. Which I mean, I know it's a little bit scumbag of him to appear late in the war when everyone's tired. But at Kaido's situation, yeah, he is definitely, definitely appropriate for him to do that. So hope you guys do enjoy this video uh, Comment down below on what you think another ally I mean who do you think Because personally when I see Shanks with Kaido I went for them to explain what actually happened before Marine Fort I mean yeah I mean during Marine Fort when they intersected points and Shanks actually came there and skis. Now that to me is insane. I hope you guys, I uh, mean, I'm just repeating the ending, but I hope you guys support my theory. If you do, leave a like button down below and comment down below who you think is gonna ally Luffy. I mean, help Luffy to beat down Kaido. Even though Blackbeard is not at least technically helping Luffy to defeat Kaido, but come on, man, we don't know how much of this bastard is Blackbeard. So, see you guys in the next theory video that I'm having. And next video is probably gonna be a kingdom top 5. So, be hyped with that. And yeah, this is your boy. Peace out.